हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ डायनेमिक पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट एंड इंसर्ट द डिटेल्स टू अ टेबल इनसाइड पीएचपी सो वी विल बी यूजिंग द एफ पीडीएफ लाइब्रेरी हियर सो दिस इज अ वेरी बेसिक एग्जांपल यू विल सी देयर आर थ्री इनपुट फील्ड्स आउट देयर व्हिच इज नेम ईमेल एंड सब्जेक्ट और मैसेज एंड देयर इज अ सबमिट बटन अवेलेबल टू यू सो इफ यू क्लिक दिस ये ए पी डी एफ फाइल विल बी डाउनलोडेड एंड दिस विल बी द टैम्पलेट आउट देयर सो वेयर वी विल बी स्टोरिंग द डिटेल्स ऑफ द यूजर कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल्स सच एज नेम ई मेल एंड मैसेज सो द नेम विल बी देयर ई मेल विल बी देयर एंड मैसेज विल बी देयर लेट मी जस्ट एंटर सम ऑफ द डिटेल्स आउट देयर लेट मी एंटर ए मैसेज क्लिक ऑन सबमिट सो नाउ यू विल सी दैट दीज डिटेल्स विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली फिल्ड इन साइड द पी डी एफ डॉक्यूमेंट द नेम फील्ड विल गेट फिल्ड बाई दिस वट एवर दैट यू फील्ड आउट देयर the email will be this and message will be this so this will be a simple template which uh, is used to generate this uh, pdf document so it is kind of a table you can just see here the styling of the table the default styling which comes with the f pdf library so we will try to replicate this inside this video so i am using this uh, library which i am told you at the starting of the video which is f pdf so if you just write it on the google it has its own uh, official website so it's a open source pdf uh, php library which is used to generate pdf documents and it has a great documentation if you want to read more about it you can go to fpdf.org so they have various examples tutorials which you can look out so all the source code regarding this application guys i have given in the video description this is a blog post i have written here step by step blog post which will guide you which will be able to download all the source code if you want to so i will be taking the source code from this website so the very first thing guys you need to do you need to download this library so simply fpdf download it go to the download section and based upon your operating system you can download the zip file here so the latest version is this one so you can just download the zip file and simply you need to extract this fpdf.php file so just extract it inside your root directory wherever you are building the project and make sure that you have xsam control panel installed i am using on windows so it's a cross platform software so it is available on windows mac linux as well so i have started this apache at port number 80 so after starting this guys we can just build out our index.php file and uh, inside this we will have simple bootstrap template here so now if i go to my local host f pdf so you will see nothing will be there it is currently empty so right here what we need to do is that so we will write our html document so for this guys we need to include bootstrap so this is not mandatory but uh, for the styling purposes we are just including it so you can just go to w3schools.com and this is this is a cdn available to you simply you can after the head you can just have this so inside this body guys we will have a simple container class and inside this we can give it a heading in the center position this is all bootstrap classes so inside this we can simply say that uh, pdf generator in f pdf and then we will have a simple form guys so the action will go to this route here which is simply convert pdf dot php so let me delete this and delete delete this route so we will create this route guys so the method will be simply post because we are transferring the details dynamic details so method will be post so inside this this attribute is not necessary so inside this form so what we need to do is that 
we will use the form group class of bootstrap and inside this we will have form control class input type text so here we will be giving a name attribute to it of here we will be getting the name of the person so here we will placeholder we will say enter name of person we will also giving a label to it enter name and similarly we can do this for email guys as well so simply copy it and lastly for message as well so this will be for email here we will say enter email the type will change to email the name will also change to email and lastly this will be for collecting subject this will be text and this will change to subject so here we will say enter subject or person and lastly guys we will have a simple submit button so button btn btn danger btn block and here we will say convert to pdf so now if you see here if you refresh the application so now this is your template guys so i have just changed the colors so it is not a problem so here you will enter the name of the person and uh, when you click this it will simply say to you this convert pdf is not found so we will now need to create this uh, file here which is in the root directory so convert pdf dot php so in this file guys we will get all the details that the user submit in, uh, inside the front end and uh, we are just transferring this information to this php file which is uh, the back end file convert php dot convert pdf dot php so the very first thing guys we need to do inside this file is to require the li uh, uh, library so inside these php tags we can simply say that require underscore once and here we will require the library which is fpdf.php so this is the file that is there inside the left hand side you will see that this is a library file so when you download the zip file you will get automatically this file here so you just need to extract it and uh, store it inside your root directory and then you can automatically do this require it inside it so put a semicolon so after this guys what we need to do is that now we need to get the details which the user has submitted so here we can declare the name variable so we can simply get dollar post name put a semicolon and email dollar post email so here we are just passing the name attribute so whichever name attribute that you have given here this is the name attribute we are passing it simply so in php you get the details using the name parameter and lastly we have the subject dollar post uh, subject and after getting all these details guys we can uh, declare a new instance of fpdf so we can simply say fpdf is equal to new fpdf and after this we can add a new page which is a blank page so pdf add page so this will add a new page to the pdf document guys so now we need to set the just the font and the details it is uh, setting the font is not mandatory but we can do it so if you want to set your favorite font you can use the set font method and here you can pass the name so we will pass arial which is by default is a font pass the second parameter empty and the size so i will pass let's suppose 16 here you can just pass any size and then we will have the table guys so we will first of all put these cells so this is the way by which you can declare the cells name so we will first of all have the header cell which is contact details 
वन कामा वन सी सो दिस इज द ओवरऑल हेडर सेल आफ्टर दैट वी विल हैव द इनर सेल्स विच विल से दिस इज द एक्स एंड द वाई कॉर्डिनेट दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन सो नेम वन कामा जीरो so similarly this will be for email as well so pdf cell the x coordinate now will be 75 y will be same email 10 and lastly guys we will have a column for this message so the x coordinate will again be same 75 10 so this will change instead of uh, this will change to subject so, so now we need to add a new line character guys so in order to add a new line break it we have this function which is ln this is the function which is there new line and now basically we will replace all the details out there with the actual values guys which the user has submitted so pdf cell so here we will say 40 comma 10 instead of name we will pass the variable dynamic variable 1 comma 0 then we will pass the actual email address so 75 comma 10 email 1 comma 0 pdf cell 75 comma 10 then we will come the uh, sorry subject 1 comma 0 so after having all these details guys now there is a time to save the pdf document so you can give a dynamic name to the pdf document so by using the time method inside php you can concatenate it by this dot uh, pdf which is the extension of the pdf file and then you can save it inside your directory which is pdf output or you can download it as attachment by using pdf dot output pass the file name and then dash d for downloading it as attachment that's it guys so this is the php script which is required to create this dynamic pdf file using the details let me pass the details now this is the subject click convert to pdf so now it is saying syntax error on line 19 let me see uh let me see that did pdf oh sorry we forgot to put the semicolon that's the error so on each line you need to put the semicolon it is very much mandatory in php language so it is not javascript that uh, if you forgot to put the semicolon the code will run so just make sure that at the end of each line you put the semicolon so you, you can see that we missed this semicolon here also so put a semicolon here also so now if i run this file once again hopefully this will work now so now you can see that pdf file is automatically downloaded and you can see that you can see some of the details are not looking pretty because i have increased the font size that is why it is looking like this so just put the font size as normal which is 12 so if you do this the things will look pretty in the table so now you will see that now the things are looking in a very good manner because the font size is normal which is 12 you can play with the font size values so whichever font that you want whichever size you want you can put this and uh, you can see that it is you can convert this to a table detail or any sort of template using this uh, dynamic php library which is fpdf all the source code guys will be there inside video description to download i have given in the video description link so just go to it and download all the source code Please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video